वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस मैथ ऑल ऑम्पेड एल्जरा प्रॉब्लम सो हेयर वी हैव एक्स प्लस टेन होल्ड स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड एंड वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स सो हेयर वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर टू मैथड्स एंड आई होप सो यू लाइक बोथ ऑफ दिस मैथड्स बट इफ यू हैव एनी अदर मैथड इन योर माइंड प्लीज डोंट हैजिटेट टू वाइट दिस मैथड इन टू द कमेंट सेक्शन बट हेयर आई कैन डिस्कस सम कमेंट्स सम व्यूवर्स कमेंट दैट दिस प्रॉब्लम ही कैन जो सॉल्व ही और शी कैन जो सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन वन और टू सेकेंड और वन मिनट सो आई सो लेट यू नो अबाउट दैट इन एग्जाम इफ यू डू दिस क्वेश्चन विद शॉर्ट स्टेप्स यू कैन नॉट गेट द कम्प्लीट मार्क्स सो इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द कम्प्लीट मार्क्स यू नीड टू डू ऑल ऑफ दिस स्टेप्स ओके Uh, so you you remember these steps and do these steps into the exam. So here now, uh, in the first method, uh, we just take the uh, square root on both of the sides of this equation. Uh, so that when we take square root, it will be written as x plus ten whole square is equals to square root of four hundred. And now in the next step, you see here this two and this square root are gone, and we get here x plus ten is equals to. Here we know that when uh, we take a square root on both of the sides, then we just uh, take this plus minus uh, sign on any one of these sides. Okay. Uh, so here we know that the square root of hundred is equals to ten, <clears throat> and now we break uh, this sign and. Here first we write the positive value. It is x plus ten equals to plus ten, and here we write the negative value. It is x plus ten is equals to minus ten. <clears throat> and now in the next step we need to move this plus ten to the right hand side, and it will be written as x is equals to ten minus ten. And from here. We easily get the value of x is equals to zero. So this is the our first real solution of the given question. And now here, in order to find the other roots, we need to move this plus ten to the right hand side. So it will be written as x is equals to minus ten, and this plus ten also becomes minus ten, and we obtain here x is equals to minus twenty. So this is the second solution of the given. Uh, Uh, given equation uh, these are the two solutions of the given equation so now here uh, we move forward and we again solve this problem for a second method uh, so that for a second method first we need to copy down the given question statement here the given question statement is that x plus 10 whole square is equals to 100 And now in this method we uh, solve this problem for uh, by using this nice formula, uh, nice algebraic formula. If you have a plus b whole square, it is equals to a square plus two times of a b plus b square. So we can apply this nice formula in the left hand side of the given equation. So you see the here we have the value of a is x and the value of b is ten. And now we can uh, put these two values of a and b in the right hand side of this formula, and we get the output of the given equation in this form. Uh, so here, first we need to expand this uh, formula, so it will be written as first you have a square over a is x square plus two times of a b. Here over a is x and b is ten plus b square, so b is ten square, and this is equals to hundred. And now in the next step, uh, here we need some simplifications. And here you have this is x square plus this is two times of ten becomes twenty x, and plus this ten square equals to hundred, and this whole equation equals to zero. And now here uh, we need to move this hundred in the left hand side, and it will be written as x square plus twenty x plus this is hundred. And this is minus hundred equals to zero. So this minus hundred and this plus hundred are cancelled out by each other, and we obtain here x square plus this is twenty x equals to zero. And now from here we easily get the uh, two values of x. 
so you see that we have x be the common term which lies here so that uh, when we take common x we get the remaining values are here this is x square when you take common x it will become x only and here when you take common x we get 20 and this is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to break this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x equals to 0 and the second case is we write x plus 20 equals to 0 so this is the first solution of the given equation and from here uh, we need to move this plus 20 to the right hand side and it will becomes minus 20 so this is the second solution of the given equation so you see here from both of these cases we get the same answer uh, and this is the our final uh, answer of this question and now here in the next step uh, we need to verify uh, these solutions is these solutions satisfied our given question statement or not so that uh, for verification uh, we again need to copy down the given question statement here it is x plus 10 whole square equals to 100 and here uh, we put uh, x is equals to 0 and here we verify uh, the value of x is equals to minus 20 so now we uh, we uh, substitute these two values to the uh, given equation and we check the behavior of the given equation from these two values so first we put this value here and it will be written as uh, 0 plus 10 whole square equals to 100 and we know that 0 plus 10 equals to 10 square equals to 100 and we know that uh, this 10 square equals to 100 equals to 100 so this shows that the value of x equals to 0 satisfied our given question statement and now uh, here we need to uh, check the value of x equals to minus 20 so now we put this value of x in the left hand side of the given equation so it will be written as this is minus 20 plus 10 whole square is equals to 100 and we know that minus 20 plus 10 is equals to minus 10 square equals to 100 uh, and now we break uh, this square sign and we write it as minus 1 square and 10 square equals to 100 we know that minus 1 square equals to plus 1 and this 10 square equals to 100 equals to 100 and 1 multiplied by 100 equals to 100 equals to 100 so this shows that uh, left hand side equals to right hand side which means that the value of uh, x equals to minus 20 is also satisfied the given question statement so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos